going to the adventure on Pumlet on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Nova Twins! <laughs> love it. And I love that you have matching necklaces that say Supernova. Yeah, this is our album name, and we loved making jewelry for it. So, yeah. So, do you sell that as merch? We did. We had 11 of these specially made by Parabellum, and they're all handmade. That's pretty, and it's pretty good. It's pretty cool, but it's pretty good. You know, that that's awesome. So, how does it feel to be at the 20th anniversary of download? I mean, they have to, they handpicked the lineup for this special time, and they handpicked you. How does that feel? It's just absolutely amazing. It's obviously our first time playing the main stage, our second time playing download. And it was such a, an amazing turnout. We were just like looking out into the audience, into the glistening sun, and it was like it was a dream. It was amazing. Yeah, and how about those crowds? I mean, come on. I I walked out of the press tent very few times today, but one time I walked out. I didn't look up, but I just heard. I was like, "Man, who's on stage? That sounds pretty badass." And I looked up, and it was you guys. <laughs> Yeah, totally. So it's funny, we're, I was talking with your publicist because I do all the U.S. festivals, and I just saw you guys at a U.S. festival, but we didn't get to talk, so I had to come all the way on across the pond so we could sit and talk. Ah, nice of you to make the trip. <laughs> well, thanks. And listen, we need to see a lot more of you in the U.S., we love it in the US. Yeah, we had the best time. We just spent six weeks out there, and the first half was on tour with a band called Moona, which was incredible. And then we did the Danny Wimmer festivals, which were wild. Like, right? We really loved it. It's crazy. It's about the closest you get to European festivals, the Danny Wimmer festivals. Like, the American festivals have always been known, like, eh, we can't do it like Europe. And Danny Wimmer is trying to make it more like European festivals because you guys know how to do it over here. Well, it was incredible. It was so good. And like, I don't know, the energy was just electric. And uh, we know what you mean by that kind of European spirit. It definitely had that kind of yeah. pack a punch and everyone was just up for it. And it all went smoothly. And we had two really great shows out there. Was there, was there a band that you saw at one of those fe festivals that you were like, man, this is cool seeing them. Like somebody maybe you never saw before that you saw perform there. Yeah, we, we saw these guys already, but we saw them, like, in a great spot, Deftones. Oh. We were, like, side stage on the sickest viewing platform, and it was, like, the sun was setting. It was the perfect atmosphere. Wow. It was, it was just... Chino sweet. looks pretty cool when the sun's setting, too, right? Great. <laughs> and A beating on the drums. It was just amazing. <laughs> so there you go. There was your American experience right there. So tell our listeners who haven't heard you guys before a little bit about your music, not from a genre standpoint, but, you know, how it came about and what you represent music-wise as an artist. Yeah, I, we, we came up through the punk circuit in, like, Camden, South East London, and we played so many gigs, you know, to no one, to just someone brooming up dirt in front of us. That's of punk us. rock yeah, in and of itself. Like, we just, and we love every moment of it, like, and we spent years just, like, gigging and gigging and gigging, and I don't know, we just found ourselves here eventually. We just worked really hard. and you paid your dues. And yeah, we, and you do as a rock band, and we're, like, we're quite a simple setup, you know, it's a bit old school, there's, like, three of us on stage, we have a drummer joint with us live. We don't, like, everything you hear is coming from solely bass, pedals, 
guitar and drums and then there's like some percussion on track we keep it simple and minimal i love it i love it you know when i was in high school it was like a dream to come to london for the punk scene you know and i lived in the states i lived in la and we had our own punk scene but it wasn't the british punk scene you know so it's kind of cool to hear your perspective of you're coming up in the punk scene here and it is funny because I have friends that were bands here, like they're friends now, and say the same thing. They were playing to the the dude sweeping the floors. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, you just pay your dues and that is what a band's all about. We always encourage bands, like it's not about, you can't look at anyone else's journey because some bands get the hot ticket and they're just straight on the main stage and they're there. But most bands graft and graft and graft and it takes years to, you know, build up and get in a position and that creates longevity and it's the story. Every single show that we did prepped us for like this moment. It prepped yes. us for things going wrong. It prepped That's us for part of it. It's, it's so a part of it. If you're going to make your changed. screw ups, do it to nobody. Yeah, it, it, yeah <laughs> exactly. It was amazing. You know, it's funny. Okay, so we had the, the mighty Metallica play last night. And everybody thinks like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I saw their first show ever. There were 25 of us for their first show ever, okay? And it was like that for quite a while. For 10 years, they ate bologna sandwiches with no bread. Like, cause it, and they all slept on the floor. Like, people, though, don't realize that. Like, overnight successes take, like, 20 years. Yes. They're like the hot new band. We're like, it takes growth. <laughs> right. It, yeah. It's like, I can't tell you how many bands I know that people are like, Oh man, you gotta check out this new band. They're not new. <laughs> Just new to the people that haven't discovered you yet. Funny story about that. My son, when he was like, I don't know, 11 years old, he comes home from school and he goes, Dad, you gotta check out this new band. They're called, and they're cool. They're called Aerosmith. And I'm like, Yeah, they were a new band when I was a kid too. <laughs> See? <laughs> so what's coming up after this now? We've got a lot of festivals this summer. We've got Glastonbury coming up. We're really excited about. We're going to Japan. Wow, that we're they'll love Republic you there. Tomorrow, yeah, Romania, Madrid, just. I love it. Japan will love you guys. Oh, we're so, we've never been, but we are so stoked for Japan. Japan's cool, bit for bands, cause like. They don't understand a word you're saying, but they sing everything and they're so into it, you know? Like, they they just love music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're so excited for the food, for the shopping, for like the music, the experience. We can't wait. And Summer Sonic, we've only heard like great things about that festival. Nice. Apparently it's like run so smoothly and everything is like perfection to perfection. So we're looking forward to turn up to festival and going for it <laughs> so is there a story that you have good or bad that's happened in this musical journey that when you get like a lot older you're going to be telling the story whether it's a good one or a bad one that's happened in this musical journey <laughs> probably today <laughs> we walked down to the main stage and we came in with the intro and our guitars wasn't working so we had a major technical technical difficulty and we were like, oh my fucking, sorry, oh my God. You can and say then, it. Oh, oh my fucking God. <laughs> and you will definitely be telling people that in years to come. Yeah, like our first time on the main <laughs> stage, waiting, we had this whole build up walk out music as we walk out, ready for the big riff to come in. You know, we're getting geared up and we're like, and nothing happens. We're like, for fuck's uh, sake. Well, now, now you're pros. Live, so. Now you're pros because that's what food, happens. We knew We've gone through shit, so when you're ready, we're ready. Goes, when it goes down, everything goes down. Yeah. Coming from. <laughs> exactly. Nice. You know it's really live, people. Yeah. <laughs> so let's tell everybody how they connect to you guys on socials, check out your music, buy your merch, because artists don't survive today without merch, and all that good stuff. So you can find us at Nova Twins Music on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, on Spotify, Apple Music. We've got a website, novatwins.co.uk. We can buy all the good merch and all that good stuff. <laughs> Love it. And stream Supernova. Definitely, because that is a badass album, and you ladies are badass 
I mean, you killed it up there here at Download, and you kill it everywhere, so everybody's got to check you out. And thank you for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.